actually being smart. So, I'm gonna teach you how to rip Dom, Gary's you try to run assets. forward, you get mowed down by fucking Bill Wilson pretty much with a four shot machine gun, which I think is actually crazy. Let's say, like, wow, four shots. I want to get this. this uh, Bill Wilson, Gordon, instead of the regular, like it takes like ten model. bullets. Now so you can do literally first lay down fire and people will be terrified. You, know, you, 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 you should make this like a one shot for the funny. No, Once I should not play, make it a one shot. It'll basically open up the game shot, and it'll funny. load it in there. You should make it. I make it one shots. You, it kills you so hard you can never like come back. <laughs> you just, like, they just, you just kick in the world. Just immediately at their spawn and kill all of them. <laughs> Now, once it's finished loading in here, all it's going to do is it's basically going to install on my end. We go over here, we right click our browse level files. I keep my add on ripper over in my add ons folder. So, what you're going to do is you're going to go to browse local files, and go to Steam Maps, Workshop, Content. And then Gmod is based on the app ID of 4000. So this is where we're going to generally find it. Now, all these ones are named with different names, different numbers. So there's no guarantee that I'm going to be able to figure out which one this one is. Let's say I want to get this 136 one. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click. You're going to extract it here since it is a bin file. You're going to rename this to a GMA, dot GMA. So you do that, you head over here, you open up this GMAT extraction. Oh, this is for my uh, Juggernaut avatar, my, my avatar model. <clears throat> the one time I so I'm going to go and delete that real quick. And then wherever you have a GMA file, what you're going to do is you're going to put in here. I already have one over here, which I'll, one is I'm this one? Back to base now. Okay, this one has my right, Fallout one that right, I was doing. Right, right, so we do this easy out extractor, and this one includes the Commissioner Gordon one. I don't know where it went to be honest. Um, what? Here it is. So what I usually do afterwards is I delete this file, and I delete this one right here. And that's how to rip it, but. Since I know what the specific person watching this video is going to do with it, what we're going to want to do next is we're going to want to open up Blender. Now, you're going to need a special tool that I'm going to be putting in the description as well as the tool that extracts stuff. I'm going to put that in the description as well. We go over here, we're going to go to import. And then since I'm importing a model from them, I'm going to do the gold source model. And then I go over here. And just to make this easier on myself, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste it right here. Then you go to GM Publisher, Models. Let's say Players. And this would give me my, com my Commissioner Gordon model. That's how to do it simply, in, in simple terms. Now, if you want to make this just perfectly good to where it would work for anything, Specifically VR chat, you want to go ahead and use this MMD tool that I'm going to put in the description and convert the model. Don't convert the material notes. After that, you're going to go up here to cats, MMD options. Turn off join meshes. If you don't do that, you're not going to be able to toggle off like things like, for example, the glasses whenever you're making this model into an avatar for VR chat. You want to click OK when you're fixing the MMD model. And then boom, that should be fixed. Now, the materials are going to look a little weird. Do not click Fix Materials. It'll add more space onto it, onto the avatar. So for now, I'll go over here. Now, since all these bones are messed up, you can either fix this in Blender itself, or you can go ahead and fix it in Unity. Since I'm not going to be making this model, I'm just going to be keeping it here. So this is just for testing purposes, just to show you. But if you want to edit and change the bone positioning, you just do Edit Mode. And just let's say you want to grab this thumb, you just touch it and just rotate it, and then just move it into the position that you want to put it in. So let's just say I put it in that position. So thumb's not perfect, but whatever. Now, once you have that done, once you fully set up your model, 
Next, all you gotta do is you just gotta export this as an FVX and put it in your downloads folder is what I recommend. I'm gonna call this one Gordon. So this will just be Gordon.fvx. Cancel that. I'm gonna not save that one. Next tool you're gonna use to get all the textures is you're gonna use VTF Edit. Now, this will help you because it gives you access to all the texture files for it. You're gonna go over to Steam Apps, Common. Then after that, you're going to want to go to Gary's Mod, Gary's Mod, Add-ons. That's where I keep it at least. You can keep it somewhere different. You go GM Publishers, Materials. Um, then let's say Models. This one has the eye stuff. So one thing, do not use VMT. You can never use VMT. It'll show you up top though what this texture is using. So for whatever you want to do with it, it shows you right there just so you can find it more easily. And that has the hair, head, has the lenses, diffuse, yada, yada, yada. But if you want to save this, just do Control E, and then I use this as a PNG, then I just save it to my computer. And that's pretty much how you rip anything from Gary's Mod. But if you want to do anything like a map, it's the same process. Um, you just have to extract all the textures through Blender itself. So that's pretty much the baseline.